Okay, so let's see uh, how to find out the inverse of a matrix by using a joint method. Uh, so there is some uh, proof that I should be proof before uh, taking the theorem. Uh, and before that, I have to explain some other theorems as well. Uh, so these are uh, some theorems that you uh, might that you have uh, that you should have uh, uh, that you should have remembered. So the first theorem, let me just write it. A dot adjoint A equals to adjoint A dot A equals to determinant of A I A. So this is the first theorem. The second theorem will be uh, so if we take some arbitrary matrix uh, of n square. So suppose uh, this is non-singular, which means there is some uh, inverse exi exist. So if there is an uh, inverse exist, it is non-singular. So the determinant of adjoint A will be simply the determinant of A in minus one. If it is singular, which means there is no inversion, then a dot adjoint a equals to adjoint a dot a zero n. Because uh, we can predict that one as well. Uh, because in the first theorem says uh, determinant of i n, determinant of i n. Uh, so if this is singular means there is no uh, determinant of a so it will be 0 okay. it just for remember you can you can't use it to prove the fact fact uh, but uh, for remember you can use this fact and uh, yeah those are the first very first theorem that you uh, must understand and there is another theorem uh, where suppose A and B are some n square matrices so if you wanted to find the joint of A B together you can write it as a joint of B dot a joint of A okay, so the places are swapped a joint of B and a joint of A so those are some theorems that you understand uh, about uh, adjoint matrices. So uh, when it comes to uh, find out the uh, inversion of a specific matrix by using this adjoint method, we use uh, this theorem. This theorem. Okay. So let me write it as like this dot adjoint a adjoint a dot a equals determinant of a i n so let me uh, divide both side uh, from determinant of a so it will produce something like this adjoint a then adjoint a determinant of a a equals i so now we know this is specific pattern so this is the exact same thing uh, when we uh, when we had seen when we find the inversion of uh, any given matrix so we know that inversion of any given matrix can be written as a b b a equals i n then then this is specific b will be the inversion of the given matrix so likewise in this case uh, this adjoint a means the inversion of the a adjoint a divided by the determinant of a will be the inversion of a so we can simply write it as a inverse equal to determinant of a dot adjoint a so this is the theorem that we uh, have to follow when we are uh, finding the uh, inversion of a matrix by using the adjoint method. Okay, so uh, 
Now uh, let us take some example. So in this case, I'm not going to find out uh, the entire adjoint matrix. You can find it uh, very uh, quickly. So I'll simply explain this new theory. So let me take some example matrix like this. Uh, one, three, four. So now we wanted to find out the inversion of this matrix. So the theorem will be this adjoint A. Yeah, find out the inversion. So uh, now I'm not going to find out the entire adjoint matrix. If, uh, you can find out by using cofactor method. So adjoint method of this corresponding matrix will be uh, if I write this. 7 minus 1 minus 1 minus 3 1 0 minus 3 0 1 so this is the adjoint matrix so only we have to uh, uh, find out the uh, this determinant so the, this, this determinant you know how to find this as well so I just simply write the way so alpha 1 1 2 a uh, 1 2 alpha 1 2 a 1 3 alpha 1 3 so since we are knowing this cofactors because when we are producing the adjoint matrix we must have uh, identify all of the uh, all of the cofactors so you can simply uh, use those uh, existing cofactors for these positions and the corresponding element of the matrix so this will be uh, 1 3 5 and the corresponding uh, uh, cofactors will be 7 minus 1 minus 1 so this will produce the determinant of a so this will be 7 this will be minus 3 this will be minus 5 so the final outcome will be 1 uh, one no not it's a minus one but when you are taking the determinant it will be one so now we can find out our uh, inversion so it will be one and the corresponding adjoint matrix minus one minus one minus three one zero minus three zero one so the answer will be so suppose we, uh, we so in this case we were lucky we just uh, get the one so if we this can be any kind of a real number so if if you had any kind of a real number over here you have to divide each and every element of that specific value so in this case we divide each and every element of this matrix or of this adjoint matrix by one it just simply produce the exact same adjoint matrix because it's just one so say one minus one minus one minus 3 1 0 minus 3 0 1 so this is the uh, final outcome and uh, that is how we find inversion of a given matrix by using adjoint method